we're going to go over the initial steps of creating a do file. Remember a do file is basically a set of commands which Stata remembers. We use them for two purposes. The first is to uh, import uh, the raw data and do the uh, initial processing of that raw data. And the second step is to do uh, the further uh, processing and uh, to then create of the data uh, for the paper. Remember these two types of do files are labeled differently, which is going to be important to ask you generate them. So uh, this one's going to be labeled according to the study, followed by an underscore, um, followed by prep clean, uh, followed um, by the stream data that's being analyzed. Typically we'll have several streams of data. The second will be a study followed by stats because you're doing the statistical analysis, followed by essentially what the specific paper is about. So let's show you how this is actually done. We're going to do this uh, later. And uh, you do this by first starting a new do file. Uh, you're going to want to um, go into um, open a new and do file and it's going to create a new do file for you. So you're going to first want to make the initial labeling. So the initial labeling is going to uh, tell you three things. Remember, Stata, if it start, if a line starts with a star, either in the command window or here in the, when run from the do file, ignores it as just text. So we're going to have uh, three lines of this type of text, which gives you an introduction to the do file. It first tells you what the do file is for. So for example, uh, we're going to say uh, this is a do file to clean and summarize uh, cataract uh, data. Okay. Uh, the next line, you're going to say who generated it. And when. And then you're going to say when it was last revised. Since there may be more than one person working on it. Okay. The first step of any do file afterwards is to clear the data set. Um, the following step is to uh, is to remind yourself to set the working data, the working directory, to um, the analysis folder. Of, um, of the uh, reading and dry eye project. So this is going to change obviously, but just a reminder to do that. Since we're reminding ourselves to do that, let's just go ahead and do that. So change working directory. I'm going to go to the desktop. And I'm going to go to the reading and dry eye, reading glaucoma and dry eye folder and the analysis folder. I'm going to choose that as the uh, parent folder. Then afterwards you're going to want to uh, make all your section headings and um, I make them using a something which really stands out and so I tend not to number them because you end up finding that you have to generate more and more section headings as you go along. So if the first one is to import data Let's make a few of them uh, for uh, illust illustration's sake. Uh, you may know that the next step after importing data is to rename the variables. Then afterwards, you're going to uh, label the variables. Then you're going to uh, generate uh, summary variables. Um, then you may want to Uh, do a, a quality check and uh, then you may want to save the cleaned data. So uh, then afterwards your job is going to go ahead and fill all these in. You're going to now want to summarize there. You want, you're going to want to save this do file. So um, now that you've 
set the working directory, it should default into that area. Remember our naming convention. So we're going to name this uh, read prep clean. I already have something that says cataract, so we can just name this you know, cataract example. And it automatically saves it as a do file. Now when you go into that analysis folder, uh, on the outside with all the other do files, you see cataract example, uh, which shows up. Um, therefore, when you close this, you can uh, reopen it. <coughs> and uh, once you reopen it, you have all these do file, you have all these files over here. If you decide that you want to run all these commands, it'll run all of them. Of course, there's no actual commands over here. So in subsequent lectures, we're going to show you how to actually populate all these different sections for both a prep clean do file as well as an analytic do file. Thank you.